The final table has been confirmed for this year's WSOPE main event. With everything still to play for, here are your final nine. Self-made millionaire and Victory Poker CEO Dan Fleischmann began playing poker in 2005 and in 2006 he took down his biggest win to date, $43,350. He's looking to increase that by a long shot tomorrow and things look good for him as he's our final table chip leader with just under 2 million in chips. We spoke to him just after play ended. Dan, I know you really want this. Everyone wants this, but it was all over your face yeah. all day long. <laughs> yeah. And you're chip leader now. It feels unbelievable. I can't even explain it. Like it's just like the steady progression and getting here, and you're like, maybe I can get there. And, and even when I saw you, I was like, I just want to get there. And <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get there. And then like, you know, then you're four hours away. You're like, maybe I'm gonna get there. And then being the chip leader is just like, it's a whole other world. <laughs> Were you feeling it? Was there like any point in the event that you thought, you know, I think I'm actually gonna get there? <laughs> Yeah, I think it was um, the second Phil Ivy got knocked out. I didn't have a care in the world because okay. the number one or the only player in the world I'm scared of <laughs> got knocked out. So there's 60 million other players in the world, but I'm not worried about any of them. It's just that guy. And the second he went out, I went from 300k to 1.5 million, like that. I'm serious. It was like every well, I don't know. I didn't care anymore. And there's no one on the final table now. You don't care about anyone. <laughs> they're good players. They're consistent, but nobody's gonna. Nobody's like going crazy and like. Roland DeWolf's really good, but he's like calm and consistent. Yeah. It's just like we're, nobody's getting carried away, and I'm going to get carried away, so it's going to be fun. So. Well, we know you in the poker world, but perhaps maybe do you want to make your way to be known as a poker player more so now? I, I'm definitely not a professional poker player. Like I've won some big tournaments before, like a 10K and a 5K and some other things, but like it's not from me being a professional poker player. It's just I've thought about the game different. I try different styles, but the moves that I make, professional poker players l laugh at me. My own... T my, the players on my team, the people that I pay, laugh at me all the time. Okay. <laughs> I, ex I explain the hand to them, like, dude, what are you doing? Okay. So, so you're not going to talk to any of them before tomorrow? No, I do. I tell them, and they're like, that was not right. <laughs> that was not right. How are you going to prepare? Are you going to get a good night's sleep? Yeah. Are you going to talk to people about the other players, or what are you going to um, do? I mean, I'm going to Google away, like always, but like, I just played with them for the last four, five, six hours, so I have a good feel for the table, and like, nobody really got carried away, so that was, that's the biggest thing, when you're like researching players, you want to know if they're going to three bet or four bet a lot, or how, like, how many caches are, do they win final tables, or do they just get there? Yeah. It's a big difference, because a lot of people are just trying to inch up the pay scale, and nothing but first matters to me, at all, like, it, at all. So there's going to be a different style from what I'm doing to what they're doing. One word to describe how you're feeling right now. Uh, buzzing, is that what you say? <laughs> buzzing. buzzing. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Up next is Ronald Lee. The American pro has a good long list of healthy online results behind him over the past five years. His biggest score came last February with $76,000 in F-Tops event number three. He's already set to beat that no matter where he finishes at this final table. Lee is second on the leaderboard with 1.9 million in chips. Third in chips is online high-stakes specialist Danny Steinberg with 1.5 million in chips. After finishing 395th for just under $32,000 in the main event in Vegas this year, Steinberg is now set for the biggest live cash of his career. Fourth in chips with 1.37 million is the most well-known player of the bunch, Roland DeWolf. The Full Till Poker Red Pro has more than $4.6 million in lifetime winnings and is one of the only two people to complete poker's triple crown, which means victories in a World Series of Poker event, a European Poker Tour event and a World Poker Tour event. The short stack DeWolf came back to make the final table, so we asked him how he persevered. Uh, I don't know, I just kept doubling up at the right times and finding some nice hands and uh, just ran well, which you have to do in these things and it was tough. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, good to go home to sleep in my house. That's a big advantage though, right? As opposed to staying in a hotel. That's true, yeah. And who would you kind of look at at the table to be, you know, worthy opponents that, you know, you'd have to put up a fight with? I think everyone's tough. You know, when you get to this stage, people aren't going to give up easily. So uh, I wouldn't want to single anyone out in that respect. Our second Brit at the final table is James Board. His biggest win was second place in a $500 deep stack extravaganza, where he took home $29,000. He's looking for his first major win, and it just so happens it could be at one of the most prestigious events in the world. Board is in fifth place on the leaderboard with 1.33 million in chips. Sixth in chips with 842,000 is Brian Powell. 
The American's biggest win came at this year's WSOP main event when he finished 66th for $90,000. Powell is guaranteed at least $110,000 in this event. Our sole Italian finalist is Fabrizio Baldassari. Not much is known about Baldassari apart from some caches on the European circuit. He could be the dark horse of this event, however, as he sits 7th in chips with 677,000. Our first of two French finalists is Nicolas Levy. Well known on the international circuit, Levy has $771,000 in lifetime winnings, but has continuously been searching for that number one spot. He sits in 8th place on the chip leaderboard with 428,000. Last but not least is our second French finalist, Marc Innocent, with 349,000 in chips. Innocent has just over $600,000 in lifetime caches, which includes a third place finish for $350,000 at this year's EPT Berlin. And that concludes our final nine. The title, the glory, the bracelet and £830,000 is on the line. Join us at carplayer.com for the ultimate leg of the 2010 World Series of Poker Europe main event.